गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड सिक्यूज फॉर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर लेट्स सेशन वॉट इज द आई सी एन स्टेटस ऑफ द ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज एक्चुअली सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज रिक्वेस्टेड द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट टू रिवील इट्स स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर सेविंग दिस क्रिटिकली इंडेंजर्ड स्पेशज नेम्ड एज ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर विच इज वन ऑफ द हैवीएस्ट फ्लाइंग बर्ड्स विद अ मेयर हंड्रेड टू वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी इंडिविजुअल्स रिमेनिंग इन द थार डेजर्ट ऑफ राजस्थान and uh, this large bird faces extinction that's why it is important to conserve this species right so it is categorized as critically endangered in the iucn list and uh, it inhabits the dry grassland and scrubland presenting a crucial conservation challenge in india right so your correct answer would be a option that is critically endangered now here our keyword would be species and in the next slide we will see some of the important species that were in news first is recently which national park has received two new mammalian species the elusive bintrong and the small clawed otter so this national park is kaziranga national park which lies in the state of assam okay in total assam has seven national parks which are these the first one is orang second is manas third is kaziranga fourth is dehing patkai fifth is naimeri sixth is Dibru, Sekhova, and you have to tell me which one is the last. Gambusia aphis and Gambusia holbrooki, recently seen in the news, belongs to which of the following species? They are actually mosquito fish, and recently they were in news. Okay, which species had its IUCN red list conservation status changed from critically endangered to near threatened recently? Yesterday we have talked about this question, and it is Saiga. antelope earlier it was categorized as critically endangered but now it is a near threatened species in the iucn red list sauroya punduana plant which is a critically endangered species has been recorded for the first time in which indian state so it is a critically endangered species and recently it has been spotted in the state of manipur right which state has announced the ghol species as the state fish recently Gujarat state has declared the ghol species to be their state fish. Noa dehing music frog is a newly discovered species found in which Indian state? Answer is Arunachal Pradesh. Okay. Next is where was the 19th non-aligned movement summit held? Here your answer would be Kampala. And recently, external affairs minister S J Shankar. offered insights into this 19th non aligned movement summit in uganda uniting 120 developing countries under one common theme what was it deepening the cooperation for shared global affluence okay so as a key non aligned movement member india supports this theme which would emphasize its commitment to nms principle right so here correct answer would be kampala the 19th non aligned movement summit took place in kampala that lies in uganda okay let's see some of the important host related current affairs recently which state hosted the 6th edition of the khelo india youth games answer is tamil nadu and which are the four cities that have been chosen for this uh, khelo india youth games answer would be chennai second is madurai the third one is coimbatore and the fourth one is trichy means tiruchira palli recently which country agreed to host a global peace summit on ukraine who is the current president of ukraine vladimir zelensky and he has requested the country switzerland to host a global peace summit on ukraine and yes switzerland has agreed on that proposal which city hosted the world tamil diaspora day celebrations 2024 here answer is chennai city Which city is the host of India International Science Festival 2023? The host of this event is Faridabad city. Which city is the host of Bharat Mobility Global Expo 2024? Answer is New Delhi. Okay. Next is Arichal Munai Point, recently seen in the news, is located in which Indian state? So it lies in Tamil Nadu. Why this point came in news? Because our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. 
paid tribute at the origin point of Ram Setu, that is Arichal Munai point in Tamil Nadu. Also, he visited temples in the Andhra Pradesh and Kerala linked to the Ramayana tale. So, he concluded his South Indian tour and uh, he offered the prayers at Kothandrama Swami temple in Rameswaram and the tour included the stops at significant religious sites aligning with cultural and historical significance. So since our Prime Minister Narendra Modi has visited this point, that's why it was in news and it lies in the state of Tamil Nadu. Let's have a look at some of the important state current affairs. Which state became the second state in the country after Bihar to conduct a caste census? So Andhra Pradesh is the second state in the country after Bihar that would conduct a caste census. Recently, the Union Minister of Ports, Shipping and Waterways laid the foundation stone for state of the arts Ayush Diksha Center in which Indian city? Here your answer would be Bhubaneswar. This Ayush Diksha Center would be established in Bhubaneswar, Odisha state. Okay. Recently, which state launched the My School My Pride campaign for education transformation? This is the initiative of Himachal Pradesh state government and it would align with the national education policy 2020. Puri Kulam cattle breed recently seen in the news is an indigenous cattle breed of which Indian state? This is an indigenous cattle breed of Tamil Nadu. Chandaka Dampara Wildlife Sanctuary that was recently making news is located in which Indian state? It lies in the state of Odisha. Fine. Who is the author of the recently launched book? Assam's Brave Heart Lachit Barfukan. Who is the author of this particular book? You have to tell me. Here your answer would be Mr. Arup Kumar Datta and uh, Unit Home Minister Amit Shah stated that under Prime Minister Narendra Modi's leadership, Assam's conflicts have largely ceased and it emphasizes the government's commitment to a thriving Northeast. Also, he praised Chief Minister Hemant Biswas Sarma's efforts to promote Lachit Barfukan, considering him a national hero. So, this book was published by the state government in English and further it was translated into 24 scheduled Indian languages. Basic aim is to spread awareness about Barfukan's greatness and his efforts. Fine. Also, uh, Home Minister Amit Shah affirmed the importance of inclusiveness and multilingualism in fostering the national strength. Okay, So, this is a book from Arup Kumar Datta. This is an important book because it is associated with Lachit Barfukan. So, maybe it can be asked in your examination. Okay, Who is the author? Answer is Arup Kumar Datta. Let's see some of the important books and authors that were in news. Who is the author of Tamil novel Nanthan Aurangzeb Conversations with Aurangzeb? This book has been presented by Sharu Nivedita. Okay. Who is the author of the recently launched book Gandhi A Life in Three Campaigns? So the author of this book is Andre Akbar and uh, in this book he has talked about three important moments of uh, Mahatma Gandhi. First one is non-cooperation, second one is civil disobedience and the third one is quit India. Who is the author of recently released uh, book titled as Why Bharat Matters? Why Bharat Matters has been authored by our minister S. Jashankar. Paul Lynch who received the 2023 Booker Prize is from which country? So the winner of 2023 Booker Prize is Paul Lynch who is from the country Ireland. And last is which country hosts the famous Frankfurt Book Fair in 2023? This book fair was organized in country Germany. Fine. Which pair won the title of Men's Singles India Open 2024? Here your answer would be Shi Yu Ki. Okay, first option. And uh, he is from the country China. So China has won the India Open Men's Singles title. And uh, he has beaten Li Chiuk Yu, that is second option, who is from Hong Kong. So the 2024 India Open Badminton Tournament was held in New Delhi from 16th to 21st of January with a prize fund of $8,50,000. And if you talk about the women singles, women singles winner is Tai Zhu Ying. Again, she is from China. And uh, there are men's doubles and mixed doubles winners as well. But uh, usually you are asked about only men's singles and women's singles. Fine. So men's singles winner is Shi Yuki and women's singles winner is Tai Zhu Ying. Now let's see some of the important sport related current affairs. 
Which player won the title of Women Singles India Open 2024? This is the same question we have discussed here. Answer would be Tai Zhu Ying. She is from the country China. Recently, who received the Best FIFA Men's Player Award? This award has been presented to Lionel Messi. Which Indian hockey team midfielder has clinched the prestigious title of Men's Fitch Player of the Year 2023? This title was given to Hardik Singh and he is a hockey player. Who has become the second highest paid player in the history of the IPL as Sunrisers Hyderabad bought him? Sunrisers Hyderabad had bought Pat Cummins and uh, he is the second highest paid player in the history of the IPL. Novak Djokovic regained the year and number one spot in the ATP rankings from which player? So Novak Djokovic uh, regained the number one spot in the ATP rankings from Carlos Alcaraz. Fine. And uh, Novak Djokovic plays for, for the country Serbia. And you have to tell me Carlos Alcaraz plays for which country. Next is who is the main architect of the Ram Mandir Ayodhya? This is an extremely important question. And answer is Chandrakant Sompura. Okay. He is the chief architect of Ayodhya Ram Mandir. And he comes from a renowned lineage of temple architects in Ahmedabad. With the legacy spanning generations, he has crafted more than 200 temples including the iconic structures like Somnath Temple and Swami Narayan Temple, Akshardham Temple, Birja Temple etc. And talking about Ayodhya Ram Mandir, it epitomizes Nagar architecture. Nagar architecture, this is also an extremely important question that what type of architecture is designed in the Ram Mandir Ayodhya? It is Nagar architecture which showcase intricate carvings, majestic spires and sacred sanctums honoring India's cultural diversity. So it stands as a harmonious blend of spirituality and architectural brilliance which reflects Lord Ram's revered abode. Okay. So who is the main architect of the Ram Mandir? Answer is Chandrakant Sompura. Let's see some of the important personalities that were in news. Who has been recently elected as the presiding officer of the Rajasthan Legislative Assembly? This is Vasudev Devnani. Recently, he has been elected as the presiding officer of Rajasthan Legislative Assembly. Joseph Boykai has been elected as the president of which country? Joseph Boykai is the new president of the country, Liberia. Daniel Noboa has been elected as the president of which country? He is the new president of the country, Ecuador. Christopher Luxon has been elected as the Prime Minister of which country? He is the new Prime Minister of the country New Zealand. Mohamed Moizo was elected as the President of which country? He is the uh, President of the country Maldives. Fine. Next is Gole Mela festival which was seen in the news is hosted by which Indian state? Here answer is Jammu and Kashmir A option. The Jagannath temple in Udhampur, Jammu and Kashmir host the Gole Mela festival twice a year. And this is a cultural and religious celebration that brings together devotees from the Udhampur district and beyond. And this festival venue features the stalls and it is a place for the families to enjoy the festivities. So this festival is a spiritual gathering that fosters a sense of community among the devotees. And the festival venue is adorned with diversity and it goes with devotion and cultural exchange. Fine. So Gole Mela festival is celebrated in the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Here our keyword would be festival and in the next slide we will see some of the important festivals that were in news these days. The first is Maru Mahotsav also known as desert festival is celebrated in which region of India? Maru Mahotsav is celebrated in which part of India? You have to tell me. Here answer would be Jaisalmer. Jaisalmer lies in Rajasthan and uh, it is a vibrant cultural uh, festival with a unique blend of music, dance, art and tradition that showcases the rich heritage of Rajasthan. And uh, this festival is themed with back to the desert. Okay, this was the theme for the celebration and it would be organized from 22 to 24th of February. And it offers a delightful fusion of contemporary and age old custom creating an unforgettable experience and it serve as a testament to Rajasthan's enduring tradition. Fine. Patke Paga Hornbill Festival which was seen in the news recently is celebrated in which Indian state? Patke Paga Hornbill Festival is the festival of Arunachal Pradesh and if you talk about only the Hornbill Festival, it is the festival of Naga land. 
Recently, International Camel Festival was started in which city of India? Here answer would be Bikaner in the Rajasthan state. The popular sunburn electronic, electronic dance music festival that was recently in news is related to which state or the union territory? So this electronic dance music festival uh, took place in Goa. Annual festival Shar Amartala Torgya is celebrated every year in which Indian state? Aruna, answer is Arunachal Pradesh. Fine. Next is Willingdon Island which was seen in the news recently is located in which Indian city? Here answer is Cochin and the Cochin Port Joint Trade Union Forum recently appealed to the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to revive the Wellington Islands former glory. So it is named after a British Viceroy Lord Wellington and it is one of the India's largest man-made islands and also it is a key commercial hub there in Kochi. So besides hosting the top hotels, it accommodates the Kochi Naval Base, Central Institute of Fisheries Technology and the Port of Kochi, which handles millions of tons of freight annually, right? So Wellington Island is located in Kochi and recently it was in news. Let's see some of the important cities that were in news. Which city was the venue of International Ayush Conference and Exhibition 2024? Here answer is Dubai, UAE. It is the venue of International Ayush Conference. Which city has been named the cleanest in India for the seventh consecutive year? It is Indore. Indore is again the cleanest city of India. Smriti Mandir and Diksha Bhumi, which were recently seen in the news, are located in which Indian city? They lie in Nagpur city. In which city was the All India Conference of Director Generals and Inspector Generals of Police held in 2024? Here answer would be Jaipur, Jaipur city. Which three Indian cities have been recently nominated for wetland city accreditation under the Ramsar Convention? These three cities are the first one is Indore, second one is Bhopal and the third one is Udaipur. These are the three cities that have been nominated for the wetland city accreditation under the Ramsar Convention. Next is what is the primary objective of NASA's Ingenuity Mars helicopter which was seen in the news. So NASA has successfully re-established the contact with its Ingenuity helicopter on Mars and it was launched aboard the Perseverance rover and uh, Ingenuity made history in the year 2021 because it is the first aircraft to achieve the powered controlled flight on another planet. So it was operating independently there and it flew to a height of 10 feet and hovered for 30 seconds and then it descended in a ground breaking 39.1 seconds of flight. So it demonstrated the feasibility of flight in Mars challenging atmosphere using the onboard system, right? So what was the primary objective of this particular helicopter? Answer is performing experimental flight test on the planet Mars. That is the option, right? Now we will see some of the important objectives of different initiatives. What is the primary objective of site program which has recently been in the news? The full form of site is strategic interventions for green hydrogen transition program. So this is a component of national green hydrogen project or mission which allocates 17,490 crore rupees to boost the domestic electrolyzer manufacturing and green hydrogen production. So it is implemented by SCCI means Solar Energy Corporation of India. Basic aim is to make India a global green hydrogen hub and the broader mission targets a green hydrogen production capacity of 5 MMT annually and uh, it has an outlay of 19,744 crore rupees. So it would reduce the fossil fuel import and uh, further it would at attract 8 lakh crore rupees investment and create over 6 lakh opportunities of jobs by 2030. So primary objective of side program is the green hydrogen production. Okay, answer is green hydrogen production. What is the primary objective of the Global Alliance for Global Good, Gender Equity and Equality launched by India at the World Economic Forum? So primary objective of this program is women empowerment and gender equality. What is the primary objective of Boeing Sukanya program recently launched by our Indian Prime Minister? Boeing Sukanya program targets to foster the entry of girls in the aviation sector. Okay. Next is what is the objective of 
द जपान्स ऑप्टिकल एड सेटेलाइट लॉन्च बाय द एच टू ए रॉकेट आंसर इज इंटेलिजेंस गैदरिंग फॉर नेशनल सिक्योरिटी दिस इज द पर्पज ऑफ जपान्स ऑप्टिकल एड सेटेलाइट वॉट इज द प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट वेंचर फंड सेटअप बाय एन ई डी एफ आई द बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव और एम इज टू सपोर्ट एंड इन्वेस्ट इन द स्टार्टअप वेंचर्स इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन ऑफ इंडिया दिस वॉज द बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट वेंचर फंड ओके लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज पारापिकुलम टाइगर रिजर्व विच वॉज सीन इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली इज लोकेटेड इन विच इंडियन स्टेट सो इट लाइज इन द स्टेट ऑफ केरला as we know and why this tiger reserve was in news because a recent survey has uncovered 11 new species in this tiger reserve that comprises of three birds four butterflies and four odonates it is situated in the western ghat mountain across the palakkad and thrissur districts in kerala and this tiger reserve spans 643 square kilometers and boasts the tiger's habitat including evergreen and deciduous forest so this is home to a unique species like nilgiri thar and hosting the world's oldest teak tree and this reserve is a shelter for flora and fauna featuring the leopards elephants and the elusive animals fine so paramnigulam tiger reserve lies in the state of kerala let's see some of the important tiger reserves that were in news first is anamalai tiger reserve which was recently seen in the news is located in which indian state This tiger reserve lies in the state of Tamil Nadu. Recently, which tiger reserve has got the title of India's first dark sky park? India's first dark sky park is the Penge Tiger Reserve that lies in two states, Madhya Pradesh as well as in Maharashtra. The Udanti Sita Nadi Tiger Reserve that was recently seen in the news is located in which Indian state? This lies in Chhattisgarh. According to the Wildlife Protection Society of India, which is state led in tiger deaths in 2023, in 2023 Maharashtra lead in terms of number of tiger deaths. Which state has organized a seven month eco tourism session for tiger reserves and wildlife sanctuaries? In the month of November 2023, Uttar Pradesh has decided to organize a seven month eco tourism session for the tiger reserves and wildlife sanctuaries. You have to tell me Valmiki Tiger Reserve lies. in which indian state please write your answer in the comment section if you remember so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK today. With this Meenu Jhatsana signing off.